You've heard of musical instruments and you've heard of virtual reality, but have you heard of virtual reality musical instruments? I thought not, but I'm going to show you some of them. It's because I, I had to create a project that involved music and I like programming and stuff, so that's a thought process. So I had to create some kind of virtual reality musical instrument, but a lot of instruments use a lot of finger movements and finger dexterity, and unless you have some kind of finger tracking virtual reality setup, uh, which I don't, I'm using the original HTC Vive, so it just tracks your controller's uh, movements. So no finger tracking. So, so the instrument that made the most sense would be something like a pitch percussion setup, which is exactly what I did. I used, um, I pretty much created like a little marimba or a xylophone kind of setup. And so let's take a look at that. So what's going on here is that uh, the controllers are just mallets and based on how fast the controller is moving towards the note, it determines the uh, note's volume as well as uh, it gives some haptic feedback. So there's a greater like vibration in the controller the faster you hit the note. And not only that, the, the notes actually you know grow in size a little bit, a nice little visual feedback as well. Um, but what's actually going on under the hood here is that I'm using Godot uh, which is a game engine to actually display the virtual reality environment. And then I'm using something called Pure Data to synthesize the sound. And Pure Data is just kind of like a little um, sound synthesis, like visual programming language sort of thing. But these are two separate programs and I needed them to like talk to each other. So the way I did that was using something called Open Sound Control. Now Open Sound Control is just like a uh, a little protocol that uses this kind of like little slash notation so you can do slash play and then like a MIDI note or slash volume, change the volume, and these are all user defined so you can create any kind of command you want, send any values over. So I, I, I use that in the Godot game engine, it sends open sound control data to pure data over uh, web sockets. So like kind of like how a multiplayer game would work but just locally. Um, and I find that WebSockets are usually a good solution for um, two programs communicating with each other anyway. So that just seemed to make sense. And I did find uh, a plugin for Godot that uses Open Sound Control. It was last updated two years ago, but it still works. So that's good. Now this was a good start, but I wanted to create something a little bit more complicated. So I looked to the theremin. And if you don't know what a theremin is, it's, it's an instrument that's played by detecting how far away your hands are from two different antennas, one controlling volume uh, vertically, and then one con um, controlling pitch uh, horizontally. Um, and it just tracks how far your hands are. Um, so there's no like, uh, there's no frets or you don't touch anything. So it's, you're just free to move wherever you want. It's kind of like the difference between like a guitar and a violin, where on a guitar you have frets to be able to feel where the note is, but on a violin you, you don't. But at least on a violin you can kind of feel it so you can build some muscle memory. But on a theremin there's nothing. So a lot of theremin players uh, develop this method of hand gestures or, or using their fingers to have kind of more of a standard standardized way of being able to uh, play certain notes. But of course in virtual reality that doesn't exist. Um, because there's no finger tracking, at least not on the Vive. So what I created was something called, I guess, like haptic frets or frets by feel is what I would like to call it, where um, I'm using the vibration motors to give a sense of feeling as to where the notes are located. So what I did was is I created a list of all of the um, all of the frequencies that are on, that are in the 12-tone scale. And then as the controller got close to one of those frequencies, you've just increased the intensity of the vibration motor. So what you get is kind of like a feeling of individual like little notches as you move the controller back and forth, almost just feeling where the notes are. And of course you can't feel this through a video. So I, I created this little sphere or circle on the top of the controllers to show you um, how intense the vibration is. It just the bigger it gets, the more intense the vibration. So you can go ahead and take a look at that here.
So I tried to play a little bit of um, Mary Had a Little Lamb pretty badly, but it's just a proof of concept. And I, I definitely learned a lot from this project. Um, being able to control the haptic feedback of virtual reality controllers, pretty simple thing to do, but because you're so immersed in the world, uh, it, you can really give a, a great sense of feeling just through a simple vibration motor and even just some simple visual feedback cues as well. So overall, this project was pretty cool, pretty simple, but simple concepts to create something unique. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.